So some things that I haven't really said yet, I've been struggling a lot with my mental health, specifically my anxiety, my depression, things like that. It's been really hard moving and I don't think a lot of people talk about that. You know, you feel very lonely and it's definitely been a roller coaster since I've moved here. There's two things that have been helping me mostly and the first one is filming and editing. So the video you're watching now, like doing this is really invigorating to me. It's always been an outlet of mine. And the second that I've discovered is boarding. And I have my penny board here, like I kind of mentioned, but I just love the freedom that boarding gives you. I feel like I'm floating on earth when I'm cruising along. With skateboards, there's a lot of beginner tricks that you can do. And I started looking at a lot of videos and I know I'm not gonna be like Tony Hawk by any means, but I, it's something that is another creative outlet. Give myself something that I can control, something that makes me feel whole, makes me feel like I can be myself and just kind of be free. We're heading into Freedom Board Shop. I got like this old Ford, but I was wanting to get new trucks and like wheels. Yeah. And I was wondering if you had like recommendations. Yeah, of course I can help you out. So that was kind of exciting for me. I have never really been in a skate shop. I wanted to get new wheels. I wanted to get new trucks, new bearings, things like that. And so the guy was super nice. I was just like, hey, what do you recommend for like a beginner? And he's just like these ones. And then he was just like, I'm like, what kind of wheels? And you know, he's like 52 to 55. And he's like, these are the kind, blah, blah, blah. And then he's just like, do you want bearings too? And I'm like, oh yeah, I totally forgot. He was super cool. And he's like, hey, do you want me to put it together right away? Right here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Like, yes, that'd be so kind of you thankful that he did that and the coolest thing you know how earlier i was talking about like boarding gives me freedom and like a sense of like getting out and just being free this shop is called freedom board shop and i didn't put the two and two together until i left and then i was like oh snap like freedom board shop skateboarding is freedom and i thought that was a cool kind of culmination so that was also an exciting woo kind of thought so Anyways, I'm feeling a little bit better about that. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking. I feel like I'm just rambling now. So Tyler, stop talking and more putting together of the skateboard. All right, action. So this is my old board and it's got a cool monkey on the design, which I really like, but the wheels, this one barely goes at all. I tried cleaning these things, but this is a pretty old board. You can see these things are pretty rusty as well. I wanna show you basically how poorly it rides just pushing. To further exaggerate my point, watch this. Watch this. It still spins. I've never done this before, so I don't really know what's gonna happen. Oh, and there we go, look at that. This is the board. I think boards look so dope when it's just the board. So I goofed up. Big time. But these are the trucks from the old version of the board. The new trucks, look at this. They align here, but they do not align here. So pretty much I'm just a big beginner when it comes to all of this. And I don't really know a lot of the technicalities of like boards and things like that. And I kind of thought that all boards were pretty much the same when it comes to like 32 inch skateboard. Granted, this may be because this is like a old fashioned Walmart type board, meaning it's pretty cheap and that's probably just how it's built. And I'm gonna have to go back tomorrow to the board shop and get a deck from them and then hopefully put together the thing and hopefully be able to skate because this is so annoying. I would really wanted to skateboard today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
Okay, so it's been one week actually since you've seen me. I fast forwarded time because I actually just spent the past weekend shooting the wedding in Minnesota, but now we're back and I haven't been able to get to the skate shop until today. So we have our bag of goodies and we're gonna be going and getting our deck put together. So Anna's gonna accompany me. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, thank you. And didn't that look so sick? Man, I am so just amped up for this. I wanted to go with something fun. That's why I went with Johnny Bravo and Theotis Beasley is actually a professional skateboarder. I didn't actually know him when I bought this board. So I looked him up. He's 29 years old from California. So it's kind of cool, but I just love the fun design. The orange is my favorite color. So I think this is super sweet, super slick, and I'm so jacked up to ride it. So obviously I'm going to be putting out more content revolving around me riding it and learning some new tricks and getting used to it. So stay tuned for more. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. It really does mean a lot. My name is Stella Rossman. I'll catch you next adventure. Peace out from outside. Watch out.